Hey, what's up guys? It's Sexybeast here from the Crossfire Gun Cage. I'm going to be doing an AC video today. It's going to be focusing on the QBZ95, which is one of three uh, new guns that come out in the game right now after the last patch. Uh, you got this gun, you got the P90, and then you got some shitty uh, Chris Reeskin, which uh, we won't get into. Um, so right now, let's just focus on the QBZ. Uh, ammunition for this gun. It's got 20 bullets with 60 extra, which means 20 bullets per clip and you got three extra clips. For um, an assault rifle, that is pretty... Uh, pretty lame for ammunition to be honest uh, you know mostly uh, we're used to seeing you know 30 bullets in each clip and whatnot but I get I get why they did this for this gun since it is a burst rifle uh, this is the first of its kind we've seen in the game so far in the uh, in the NA version um, and I don't I don't know what to think about it I mean it's it's a cool it's a cool little feature for the gun but I would love to see this automatic but there was one thing one one little thing it's not little it's pretty big for this gun uh which which keeps it burst fire and i see why they did this the damage on this gun is insane okay the burst each burst three bullets uh and if you hit all three bullets you will kill the guy instantly i mean there's there's no getting around it if you hit all three bullets the guy's down you know you can go go over a teabag's body and whatnot the the gun is powerful but the thing is since it's a burst gun if you miss even one of those bullets, you're gonna have to wait for the next burst, which, uh, which comes after an insanely long uh, animation uh, for this gun. I mean, it's like you fire the three bullets, you gotta wait for your gun to come back down before you fire again, and it just feels way, way too long of a wait. I mean, it's like it's like firing a sniper rifle. It's it's basically trying to no scope with a sniper rifle, missing the shot, and having to wait again. Which is why I recommend you bring a pistol. Um, you know the Colt or the Desert Eagle because you're gonna find yourself not only missing with the first burst But also running out of ammo quite fast with this gun. So getting um Getting an extra pistol uh, You know for your, uh, for your secondary weapon is a good idea. I recommend the Deagle um, people tend to like the Colt uh, And I you know, it's it's your you know, it's your choice basically, but do have a secondary weapon in your bag or else you're gonna you're gonna have a bad time so other than that the guns power combined with the burst I get it it balances the gun out maybe they should have thought about balance when they uh, when they brought up the AK but uh, you know we're not talking about the AK we're talking about the QBZ uh, this is about my third game I'm playing on a uh, downtown as you probably noticed already it's a team deathmatch uh, I started off about halfway through the game I didn't want to bore you guys with a 12 minute gameplay uh, so there's my reasoning for that uh, you, you can see I'm doing fairly well with it. This is my, uh, I believe, my third game with the gun. I got the hang of it pretty, uh, you know, pretty soon. But I gotta admit, this gun is not for the beginner. You know, um, I would even say a seasoned vet would have issues with this gun. It's not, it's not a cookie cutter gun. I mean, you really gotta take time and really focus. Uh, the main thing this gun emphasizes is your aim. I mean, you gotta have, you know, marksmanship. You, you gotta have, you know. Uh, aim. You gotta have the gift from God to aim good with this gun. Uh, it is it is really a, a niche gun. If you don't, if you're not good at aiming, don't don't think to buy this gun and go into a game and say, "Damn, I'm gonna do incredible with this gun because it's powerful." Chances are you're gonna be bottom frag. You're gonna be bottom frag, and you're gonna be saying this gun sucks. But the issue is, no one's gonna be able to hear you because you're at the bottom of the scoreboard. Uh, so, you know, if you're looking for a challenge, get this gun. If you're just looking for a gun that you can go and rape face with, uh, I'd say go with the AK or the M4. Uh, if you're looking at assault rifles. And another thing, I for some reason I could not, for the life of me, play S and D with this gun. I don't know what it was. I don't know. My tactics are usually run and gun, and it's just it just wasn't uh, meant for that purpose. This gun, I I swear it was horrible to try to use this gun S and D. TD I can handle because you know TD's got a lot of confusion. I was able to get around people. I was able to you know to aim down the sights um, and to really focus on my aim you know without worrying about oh my god uh, the bombs plan and whatnot so in respects to that I believe that this gun could be a really good gun if someone spent the time to actually get to know it and um, you know <laughs> you know, like Spongebob you gotta date the gun you gotta you gotta be the gun um, so uh, I don't know what to say about this gun I don't know I part of me wants to say get this gun because I know deep down inside me that this gun is a great gun but it's just the learning curve on this gun is just too high 
I don't believe anyone is gonna be, you know, picking up this gun and just being like, wow, this is my new main. I don't feel like anyone's gonna be able to do that, because I don't feel anyone can do that right now. Um, so anyways, uh, I guess final verdict is, you know, if you're gonna, if you have enough money for only one gun, and you're trying to make it in like, uh, you know, a competitive player or whatnot, don't get this gun. I'd say go with M4 or AK if you're going to assault rifle. Uh, definitely don't go scar heavy. That, that's a whole different story. But anyways, guys, uh, it's, it's been it's been pretty good. Um, past couple games with this gun, I would say that uh, it's not my favorite. But again, I do love it because it's such a unique gun. I mean, look at it. It looks cool. It looks cool. It's got uh, you know, it's got cool things about it. And I I don't know. Get get the gun if you want to challenge, basically. If you don't want to challenge, if you want it easy, you know, the easy way, don't don't get it. So anyways, guys, Sexy Beast, uh, it's been good. <laughs> it's been a good time. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.